Staring out the window Reaching for a North Star Waiting just to wake up From this nightmare Or you could be right back in my arms Hello friends, my name is Young with a hat And welcome back to my channel Hello The last few days has been a little bit rough for me I feel better now after a full night of sleep But I wake up with like a, a voice like this my throat is not hurt, it's still kind of funny <laughs> Especially when I laugh Anyway, I need to record a new video So that's why I'm gonna take you on a day with me I call it a resting day I feel like I do a lot in the last few days So I wanna rest today Do small things, do things that I like First, let's make some breakfast I'm gonna make myself a smoothie bowl <laughs> Smoothie bowl so to make this smoothie, I have some frozen mangoes and then pineapples. So I use nut milk for my smoothie for a little bit. And I'm out of soy milk, coconut milk in. This blender is not very good, you cannot blend for over one minute. So sometimes when I smell smoke, I have to stop it a little bit before I continue to blend it. I smell really bad. It smells like it's burned. Usually, I just get a straw and drink it out of this. But today, because I want to make it as aesthetic and I want to eat it relaxing, I'm gonna put it into a bowl. But please know that I usually just drink it because it's just faster. Okay. I put a little bit of cheese seed. Oh my god. <laughs> just a little bit. I put too much. Some walnut. Don't make fun of me, yeah? It was an accident, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> These is all the ingredients that I have for my house right now because I don't want to go outside. I shouldn't even go outside. The doctor told me to open my window, but because I live on a very high floor, it's very close to the sky. There's a lot of airplanes going um, above me, so it's really loud sometimes. So when sometimes you can hear airplane noise, please ignore it, yeah? Anyway, I will eat this now and watch. I'm watching a series on Netflix right now. It's called The Big Flower Fight. It is really good. A bunch of flowers and artists come together to see who make the best flower arrangements. Yeah, I love flower arrangement very much. It's funny. When I go deep on my voice, I can say it. But when I go high, it couldn't come out. Hello everyone. <laughs> I actually just took a quick nap. <laughs> I really don't mind because I feel so much better now. But it's lunchtime and I'm craving for. So I actually just ordered and I'm just waiting for about 20 minutes for it to be delivered to my house. And while I'm waiting for fur, I'm just gonna water my plant babies. He's growing so much. It's just the caring of princess. Look. <laughs> bedroom, Sorry, I made you guys wet. Let me show you my babies. Yeah, look at them. They're growing a lot. <laughs> Tiago just bought me this. It's kind of funny. Like he bought me a watering pot. Like I never use it. Because I feel like it's easier to just put the plant here and just spray them because it will be much more water. <laughs> That's his heart. <laughs> this is me every time I order food online. <laughs> when I was a kid, I thought that eating a lot is, you know, is something to be proud of, right? And I would always eat two bowls for whenever I eat with my grandma because my grandma lives in a separate city. So when she visit, I want to, to make her feel like proud all the time. So I eat two or three bowls of a big one in Vietnam when I <laughs> eat with her. It's so funny. <laughs> Thank you very much. Bye. So the food is here. When I eat pho, I always put sriracha sauce 
and hoisin sauce in my bowl of oh, I like it a lot. Some people prefer to dip it, but I like to pour it in and mix it because I like to drink the soup. So good. For me, as a person who lived alone for a long time already, I feel like it is the longest time when I'm sick. Why? Because when I'm sick in Vietnam, my parents always take care of me, then next to me. When I live by myself, I have to learn to take care of myself. And you know, you live alone because you have to work in a different countries or study in a different countries. So those, there's so many things you have to do and you have to put everything aside when you're sick. And it's not fun at all. I learned to give my body some time and just rest. And just forgive my body for being sick. Hello friends, so I want to get this portion to the sponsor of this video, Skillshare. Skillshare is basically an online learning community that offers thousands of classes to those who want to learn new skills or discover their creativities. I feel like Skillshare is the perfect place to start because they offer basic to advanced classes. You can choose what to take depending on where you want to be. As many of you may know, I'm a tax accountant, so I've been looking at SQL. SQL is a programming language to manipulate data, so I've been looking at ways to improve data analytics skills, and it's been going great. I've been taking the complete SQL server for beginners by the instructors Ahmed Mohi. I'm looking forward to further my data analytics skills, or just computer related skills in general, to further my job. Promotions. The first 1,000 people using the link in my description will get one month free trial of Skillshare. Thank you, Skillshare, again for sponsoring this video. When I first came to the UK, I was actually surprised by this. I thought that in the UK, people would use dryers instead of hanging the clothes up. But I was wrong. In my first three apartments, we don't even have dryers. We have to use this in all the apartments. But now, in this apartment, this is quite a modern one, right? so they have a dryer, but I actually prefer this one because when I hang wet clothes up here, it creates more humidity for the room. Yeah, so this is actually my best friend now. <laughs> my voice is so funny. But I think it's better. It's actually getting better, right? Now I can go up a little bit. Yeah, can you hear that? It is actually a very bad day physically for me because I woke up though like I feel better right? I'm recovering but I have a nosebleed I'm not sure why I was waking up by a nosebleed you know like the feeling that you were sleeping and then you suddenly just wake up it was me like this this morning I was sleeping <gasps> no yeah and then I ran to the bathroom it was pew, 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 pew. nosebleed was like a bad luck in my country and then it bleed again. Oh, it was weird, but it's okay. Like I'm learning to have a better relationship with my body, to give it time to feel better. Remember those days when we sang those songs in your old Mustang that your parents bought when they split ways and you felt alone. So you have a couple. Hello, friends. So I think it's time for me to do something cool in this video rather than just living and eating. I think I can make some banana bread just because I have two very ripe bananas right here. Although I have no experience in making banana bread, I have never made one before, so I'm gonna watch some videos. It's from the bananas? Mm. Ooh. Ooh. Just gonna eyeball everything. Ouch! So I have two baking tray. This is the first baking tray I have. Cupcake. This is the second one. 
I don't have the triangular one that they have so I think I'm gonna use this one ready nice and then I'm gonna bake this for an hour at 176 Celsius degree that means 350 Fahrenheit degree <laughs> hi Alexa please set a timer for one hour my voice now sounds like a teenager going through puberty it smells so good <laughs> while waiting for the banana bread I'm going to make something else to eat and it is herb gelatin jelly I'm not sure what it's called in different languages but in Vietnam it is sung sam right it is already ready in a can like this I don't really need to make it but I put it in a cup like this and then I put some sugar in it's ready and you just eat it like jelly look mm. hello everyone so the banana bread is ready let me take it out this is how you separate it I should have put some paper under it yeah wow let me show you, let me show you. Nice. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm so happy right now. I'm really proud of this. Mostly because I just eyeball everything. I didn't use the measure cup. Just because I don't have the measure cup. <laughs> but it's exactly how I want it to taste. That's my first time making it too, so I'm quite happy about it. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna ask somebody to taste it, yeah? Chiaco. Is it good? <laughs> so this is the end of the video. Thank you very much for watching it, and I really hope that you enjoyed it. And thank you Skillshare for sponsoring this video. All the links is in my description below, so if you wanna check it out, go and check it out. Okay, and I hope to see you in the next video when my voice get better too. <laughs> bye bye.